한대 맞더라도 계속 맞지 말고 일단 저도 한대 때려야죠. 3대1 예상해봐요. 안될것 같은데? 죄송합니다. Going to Diva earlier to off screen. She's been really annoying up there. Okay, so Bilby just holding on to this pulse bomb. As you can see, it's the tag team with the Pharaoh plus the Tracer. The Pharaoh weakens everybody and the Tracer oh. finishes them off. Rocket Barrage does come down, but it's a good defense matrix. Still able to take down Kisu, though. Fletter falls at the same time, actually, just before. Nice. We're in overtime. It's looking like LW Blue should be able to make this one work. Sound barrier goes down just to secure this point. Kisu has a res, but it's not going to be important anymore. They've got a few ults, they're going to have to commit to them here if they want to retake. Pine already getting the pick on the Veil, though. This is a problem. Yeah, Pulse Bomb's still here, and Sabiobi's just free to do so much damage. He wants down. to be playing the Farah. He's not necessarily the Tracer player as in goes oh. Luna. Big EMP, and Sabiobi's going to capitalize. Takes down Kisu. Luna also takes down Fletter at the same time, and look at this, the dive from LW Blue all over Flashlux. This was almost a 3v6 that they just did the with this composition, oh. Atlas. All right, well, I actually thought that that might have been a headshot, but it's actually modern taking down Pine, so they do jump into that backline. Transcendence was used here from Flashlux. They're trying to get this cap on the point, but it's at 95%. Self-destruct kill comes out from LW Blue in response as they do trade some supports. Flashlux still doing what they can with that sound barrier up, but it's only Luna that's fallen. LW Blue are going to be pu pushed off, but it's still overtime that they've managed to get. It's 100% now towards this point. LW Blue charging up some ultimates, trying to get there. Pulse Bomb almost available, but there's sound barrier, and EMP is able to be used here. Gets it on a couple, and both of the supports are now going to get just railed down. Luna grabs both of the kills there. The Flashlux will now be in disarray. Weeso gets one kill, but it feels to me like LW Blue will be able to get this retake. Seems that way. They're taking it now. There's the kill on the Veil to lock it in, and that is going to be the double cap here. No one to contest. Oh, my goodness. That's Flashlux are just streaming in, and that's going to be overtime ticking down. LW Blue, pretty textbook 2-0 on control. You know, it's unfortunate to say this, but this is the series we expected and already in game yes, number one. He's supposed to oh, be running. And it looks like we're going to have Nanohana, a.k.a. Flower, oh, subbing oh, in. Oh. After this, man, after that first dominant game, they feel confident to bring him in. So Flower, on his debut opening match, I mean, he's been pine, pine, and pine all season long. And with the wrist injuries that Flower sustained, we weren't sure if we were going to see him. Break open this point. Okay, oh, this oh, is one way. way. Yeah, this is the, the way you do it. You kill them in one shot, they can't heal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you stop healing? You kill them instantly. That's that's uh, that's going to be it. So he's going to find Flower here as well. Decent corralling here by the D.Va. We're looking for the pick here on the Flower. Oh, misses the shots, though. Yeah, one of those flicks, but now has a decent position. Flower was able to get the kill onto Fletter, however, and that's going to be the self-destruct, not finding anyone. Double kill. Coming after the Ana Flower having a fantastic debut so far. But the front line is falling down. The mech missing now. The side of LW Blue. Transcendence has to be used from Flashlight. Yeah, we're going to see the Transcendence coming down. We'll see if the Self Destruct gets committed to from Weeso. If they really want to make this push be it, I don't think that's going to be the case. They're going to back off. So they'll be looking to stagger their spawns here, actually. All it takes is one little piece of momentum, and then. Throws it down now. There's Ooh, the self there's a Grabs a double, actually, as Mako and Sebiolbi both going to fall down. Fletter grabs Flower at the same time. Nicely done, and Flashlux should be able to cap this point here. Flair's going to look for the flank here on the Luna. Will he get it? Flatter Grenade immediately answers, though. Good recall. Gets himself all the way back out of there. But, oh, Kisu. So much trouble. Actually has to throw down the Transcendence to keep himself alive. Mako, in the meantime, is going to grab a kill. Pulse Bomb doesn't find a stick, but still gets the kill on the Gambler. Kills himself, though. Unfortunate. Yeah, that's not great. He can use it now, but going to get healed back up. Deadeye comes in, but uh, that's not exactly how you want to be using it there, buddy, as he's going to go down extraordinarily low. Mako is answered there by Fletter and then destroyed. But Yanis, he comes in, gets the revenge. Dropping the Primal Rage here as well, but several of his teammates are already dead. So uncharacteristic lack of coordination here for LW Blue as Flashlux look to complete this second checkpoint now. Very well done. You know, the could be probably going to be looking for the pick onto Eunice or Vale or uh, excuse me, uh, um, Oh, Kisu. immediate transcendence though to answer this dive on the back line. Sound Barrier is going to be the response from LW Blue. They still have their own transcendence here and available. They're going to use them staggered in the other ways as Flower finds himself the first kill onto Eunice with this Dragon Blade. Make that a double as both supports are dead. He's going to get himself a mech for his trouble eventually, and Sabiolbi's going to answer with the kill onto the D.Va. 
Oh, LW Blue looked look to have held. Nice. Point, as a result. Oh, Veil, the double headshots on both supports. Great start here from Flashlux on the defense. But it's two kills in response as LW Blue answered back. Oh, now see, Modern, once he gets caught, once he actually doesn't have that backbone to help protect him anymore, he's just kind of caught there in the middle, spinning around in circles. Power in the meantime is going to be able to grab that kill onto Eunice, though, on the back end. Modern has that Earth Shatter. He's looking for an angle, throws it down, but, oh, that's not the targets that he was looking for. Now he's caught. He's just going to go for the Hail Mary charge to see if he can find anything. You can tell he's so frustrated there. Yeah. He's just totally isolated. And again, it's not his fault. It's the good play from LW Blue, and Flashlugs just can't deal with this dive caught position right now. They're getting out. Wanted to get this jump in. Yeah, here's the, the self destruct for the initiate. Now, because LW is going to dive the spawn with the pulse bomb, just oh, pushing them away. No. They can't get out. They can't get out of the spawn location. That's going to be four dead, and that should be oh, game. Oh. Veil, the last man standing. The TAC fires are just for fun as they boost the payload towards the end, and that is going to be a 2-0 lead now for LW Blue against Flashlux. We saw signs of life coming out from Flashlux in the first push. It took them a long time to capture the payload itself. Here from Luna. We'll see whether we can get this EMP. Oh, Once everyone's it. here, pops it out. That's going to disable so many heroes on the side of Flashlux, and they're dropping like flies. The hacks are coming in here as well. Luna just, his first EMPs, both here and on Ruins, just beautiful to watch. From Bale to at least eliminate the mech, but Flower gonna pick up a double. It looks like this push is yet again going to be completely shut down. Dragon Blade not even necessary here for Flower. Exactly, make that a triple kill as Gambler is then gonna take down Bale. I really love the sound barrier as well, keeping the Baby Diva alive. The, the player of note on the side of Flashlocks for a very long time is Sebiobi is gonna be able to pick himself up a health, health pack and keep himself alive. Yeah. Modern gets himself in there, but there's a pulse bomb for his trouble. Not going to fall down just yet, but has been chunked out well and truly. Mako grabs a kill, in fact, off to the side with that self-destruct. Uh, Save Bilby oh. is just cleaning up the, the remaining pieces here. Luna's holding on to that self-destruct, trying to get a long-range kill onto Flat, and nearly does. I mean, all those barriers is going to get removed. Now the invisibility is going to come in, but they're not stacked up on the side of Flashlux just yet. You can see coming out of the side, He's just going to go for the hack here, grabs it onto Eunice, who's not able to do anything. Sabiolbi's going to chase him down. Luna grabs credit for the kill. But it's both of these pseudo DPS doing so much work. No Sabiolbi res. grabs Vale as well. Flower just cutting them all down. Four seconds to go on that res. He needs it, but he dies before he can use it. The self destructs will be the last dish attempt here. Not going to happen. He's off the point. And so that will be the hog now available, and he can chuck them oh, right the right off. And another long range hook from downtown onto the Diva Mac. I know that's a big suit, but that's still. Pretty sexy accuracy. All they need is one tick with this too. Self-destruct coming in, it's not enough. No one's on the point. Here comes Modern to try to buy time. But Fleta was just cut out of the freaking air that's with it. a hook, and that's going to be it. All too easy for oh. LW Blue. Who needs DPS, Wolf? I mean, they certainly didn't. The right clicks of Sabiobi uh, there on the hall. 네, 좋을 1등이다 보니까 이제 혜택도 있고 그러니까 굉장히 좋습니다. 그리고 오늘 경기는 좀 만족스럽지 못한 것 같아요. 이유로 어, 왕이길 맵 왕이길 맵에서 특히 많이 그런 것 같아요. 어, 수비를 완막할 수 있었던 상황에서도 완막하지 못했고 내가 상대를 좀 약본 건 아니지만 그래도 어느 정도 허술했던 것 같아요. 평소 기량보단 저희가 최근 연습 경기에서 볼스카야 A 공격을 거의 다 사탱으로 했어요. 그래서 어 사탱이 막힌 적도 없고 그다음에 지금 워낙 돌진 메타라다 보니까 사탱에 대한 대비도 상대 팀에서 또안 되는 것 같고 저희가 또 사탱 숙련도가 굉장히 좀 높아요. 그전 메타에서도 많이 사용했고 그래서 이 조합을 선택한 것된것 같아요. 어 아마도 그 로그가 했던 것처럼 아마도 플라워 선수가 겐즈와 디바를 건강하면서 플렉스로 두지 않을까 하고 파인 선수도 그에 못지않게 좀 영폭이 높다 보니까 다양한 조합이 좀 나올 수 있을 것 같아요. 어두개다 해당되는 게 아프리카 블루 같아요. 어 일단 힐러진들이 좀 많이 막강하고요. 그 다음에 전체적인 그런 모든 포지션에서 부족한 선수가 없고 팀 합도 많이 맞춰본 팀이기 때문에 내공도 있고 
좀 경험과 그 다음에 실력이 둘다 겹쳐진 선, 아, 선수들 팀 모든 포지션 힐러에선 다 중요한 것 같아요 킬도 낼수 있지만 우리 팀을 또 서포트 할수 있다는 게 일단 슬러진들이 많이 세다 보니까 어, 루나티카이도 탱일이 세잖아요 네, 아프리카 블루도 못지않게 세고 어떤 그 메타에 따라서 유연하기도 하고 템포이다 넓다 보니까